Hello everyone, Nicholas Barco speaking. Welcome back to Attack of the Bee Team. And today I'm going to show you how you can build the Project Red Intelligent Sorting System, which is a little bit inspired by Generic Bee. If you haven't seen his episode where he showed his design, no worries. This is a quick summary of it and also a tutorial, so you don't have to rewatch his entire episode to rebuild this. Okay, so what this basically does, if you haven't seen it, um, you can select what you want from this in here. Let's say we want one of these and maybe three palm saplings, click submit and also a diamond pickaxe. And then once you're done, hit escape and then all the items are in the chest right here. And I think I didn't select the pickaxe. There we go. And it should be coming in also fairly soon. So then you can use these and when you're done or want to add in other items in here, you can just throw them in here and then after a short amount of time, they should all be ending up back in here. So there's the pickaxe and also the other stuff should be in here pretty soon. Okay, so this is compacted down pretty much. I'm sure you can make it a little bit smaller. This is just there to show uh, all the different functions. So we've got one routed request pipe right here. And down here there is routed interface pipes with some chip cards in them and also some transport pipe. But that's about it. And it's not really expensive to be honest. Um, for example, this routed request pipe does take some crafting but it's not really expensive you need to find these trees for that they are also not that rare so you get the green and red and also there are magenta saplings um, so you need to find these in order to craft the pipes but other than that it is pretty cost efficient for example these um, normal transport pipes only take stone or and something else so they are not really expensive so how you can build this is pretty simple as I said you need one router request pipe some normal pipe some chests for your storage three or more or less uh, interface pipes depends on how many chests you want to use also hoppers to transport it back in there and connect the chests with each other and also the chips I just talked about so you want to begin with placing down your um, request pipe let's give ourselves a block so we can place it down right here this looks like this and this is the interface you're gonna get and then all the items are gonna be in here just like we saw over there and then you will need to extend this a little bit further to your chest which you want to place down here I'm just gonna place down two for the moment you can uh, extend this or leave it like this if you don't want to have too much space but I guess you can decide how many chests you want to have by yourselves and then what you want to do is um, put down one of these transport pipes again maybe here so you need to experiment with that a little bit because um, then you need to place on the routed interface pipes which are going to go into that chest there and then another normal pipe and then another routed interface pipe just like that you could also place um, some more of that normal pipe right here and then just go with one pipe that connects both so that's even more efficient just like this and um, then what you need to do is grab yourself one of these item broadcaster chips and you don't need to do anything off of this but if you want to be sure you need to set this on items are blacklisted if it would be items are whitelisted you would need to uh, put in items that can only go through and when you have that on blacklisted every item can go through and then once you're done you just open up that uh, interface pipe and then put this one in here and everything should be done pretty much right now so let's see if it is um, nothing's in there yet so let's throw some garbage in there for example no I need these hoppers and let's say we don't need all of this so it's all in there and now we should be able to see it in here so yeah we see everything in there and now we should be pretty good I guess yeah everything should be working properly if it isn't check out your um, connection to both of these 
and if you then want to have the items go back in there just build a hopper chain which is then going to go for example into a trap chest and the other pipe is going to go into a normal chest so maybe just like this or something make sure that uh, this doesn't connect so it doesn't go in a circle so that is pretty much it then you can put your stuff in there and everything should end up in here then you can search for something maybe if you want to see a chest just type that in click it submit and if you want to have all of these click all and submit you can also type in a number that you want but I guess you know what I mean by that and there are your items perfect and now let's let them flow back in alright that's pretty much it I hope you enjoyed this video please be sure to leave a like if you did and then we'll see us next time take care and bye bye